So the question is, what is the best paper size to choose when you are designing something in Photoshop? Whether it is for social media, whether you're going to print it out, it is for a banner, business card, a letterhead, or any other thing that you don't really have a clue. In this video, I'm going to explain the various paper sizes in Photoshop and their corresponding big solutions. Coming up. Hey everybody, Innocent here. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe. If you're old here, thank you so much for coming back again. So the answer to the question that I earlier on asked is, it depends on you. What do I mean by it depends on you? Either you're going to design a wedding invitation, a flyer, a church flyer, a business card or a letterhead. The option depends on you or perhaps the client that is giving you the job so a client may walk to you and say that i want you to design something in two by five feet for me basically the client has his or her own dimension so you'd have to go according to that dimensions what if the client is clueless that is when you have to do your job as the designer so you'd have to do a little bit of questioning and then you go on to choose the best size that is going to fit the client so for instance if the post or the design is going on social media you would have to do all the thinking for the clients like the size the color choices and everything so without wasting much of your time let's hop into photoshop let's give a very big shout out to the people at photoshop for doing most of the job for us well this is what i mean if you go to file and the new and then you come to this part part over here perhaps if you're using tc you would have to take a different approach but all the same they are the same thing okay so the the thing is if you come to this particular portion we have a whole lot of paper sizes for you before i come to the costume where it will get to the point where we are going to set our own paper sizes let me take time to explain this particular preset over here so the preset is made up of different paper sizes that has been given to us by default in photoshop almost any version of photoshop has this particular photo sizes so you start from the default photoshop size and that is the seven by five inch with a resolution of 72. i'll talk a bit of resolution in this particular video but then let's move on to the us paper that is the letter a liga and then the tablet so if you want to create a letter in photoshop basically you go for this us paper but the most used according to my knowledge paper or preset size is the international paper perhaps the photo paper also comes but then the international paper covers the a4 the a5 the a6 a3 up to dl so for instance if you want to create a flyer in photoshop there are two choices for you Either you go for A4 and then you go, you can also go for A3. So for either of them that you choose, Photoshop automatically gives you the width and then the height in millimeters. So you don't have to study or grasp all these things in your head. The moment you click OK, you are going to be welcomed with this particular page. Now you have to note something over here. The moment I hold z and then alt to zoom out in my photoshop it becomes a little bit smaller this is what confuses a lot of people because if i have a3 or a4 over here and then i go to file again and then i go to new and then at new i'm going to create another size of a3 and then i click ok that one will be open in a different document for me so if i hold z and then alt and then i zoom out basically you're going to see that this and this is not really there isn't any much difference in it but then that is the confusing part of this whole thing so you just have to be making sure anytime that you go to image and then the image size and then you can see the particular image size that you are working on in so if i go to the a4 right now and i go to image and then image size this is 8 by 11 inches and then the a3 is 60, 11 by 16 
inches so this one is going to help you get to know the type of document that you are working in so here at the international paper for any of them that you choose basically it will be given to you in the portrait format now here is a very helpful tip if you interchange the values at this point say you replace 420 with the height and then you cut and paste the width and you copy it at the height it is going to give you or give it to you in the landscape format so basically you don't need to memorize all these figures in your head if you don't want to go by that way and if you want to go by this way also you can first of all select any of the presets say international paper and then you go for a4 and then you click ok and then you go to image image rotation and then you can quickly rotate your image so if you, you can go 90 clockwise or anti-clockwise and then you have your landscape mind you the landscape and then the portrait they all have the same image size just that the dimensions has been interchanged that is the weight and the height has been interchanged that is the only thing moving on if you want to create something like a wedding invitation probably you don't need to go for a large paper like a4 so probably you have to go for a5 so that is a5 also for you this is the paper that i mostly use in creating wedding invitation card so just like a4 and a3 if you go to image and then image rotation you can easily rotate your a5 card to fit to the particular wedding invitation card that you want to use and also we are moving on to if you want to create something like an envelope the envelope size this is dl that is what i use to create envelope design you can check the envelope designs in the youtube card over there so this one also if you click on it you're going to see that this looks very very thin as compared to that of a4 and a size that is mostly because this particular paper size is smaller than a4 and a3 okay so if you go to image and then image rotation and you rotate this you can get the landscape form of the envelope design also now let's move from the international paper and go to the photo over here the photo like i said photoshop has done a lot of things for us so you don't really need to do a lot so you have the portrait four by six five by seven and then mind you you can also use a4 and a3 a2 to create your own photo size in case you are working in photoshop I don't really want to go to the web and mobile services as a lot that I've been using is the international paper and then the photo. Now, the most confusing part of it all is the costume. So what if you don't know the size? For instance, you have to design a banner in a 4x3 or let's say 4x6. How do you go about this one? Well, Photoshop didn't provide that one, but then it has given us the costume preset for us to set our own dimensions i'll be making use of inches so any one of them that you are familiar with say centimeters or millimeters you can also go with that but for inches what i know is and if you google it up you're going to see that every 12 inches is equal to one feet so if you are giving a banner of three by five size say the weight is three feet and then the height is supposed to be five feet you're going to multiply three by 12 and then you're going to get 36 that is 36 inches and then you're going to get the height also 60 inches that is 12 multiplied by five so you can see from here that the moment i chose 36 by 60 inches my image size here has really increased if you are not having a lot of space you might end up freezing your photoshop or perhaps your machine in case you are dealing with such higher sizes you might want to decrease your resolution to about 150 or even 100 that will reduce the image size and it can do you a lot of good by not freezing your machine so if you click ok you can see this one and somebody might be confused with this particular size and a4 size because a 3x5 size banner is supposed to be bigger 
than that of A4. But then if you compare this to an A4 sheet, let's say I go for A4 sheet from here, you can see that from the screen, the A4 sheet appears to be bigger than that of the 3x5 banner. That is why you have to always make sure the image and the image size here is your friend. Okay, so under no circumstance is a 3x5 or an A4 sheet going to be bigger than a 3x5. Don't let the screen resolution of this and that confuse you because definitely if you if you zoom it to fade the screen, the A4 sheet is going to be bigger than that of the 3x5 banner. But then it doesn't matter when you're printing it, the banner is obviously going to be bigger than that of the a4 sheet so here is a clear example of a flyer against its banner so on screen you might be tempted to say they are almost of the same size or perhaps the banner is even bigger or the flyer is even bigger than this banner but then the truth is if you go to image and then image size you're going to see that this is 60 inches as against 36 inches and that that of the flyer is the five by eight or uh, five point eight by eight point two. So you can obviously and clearly see from this illustrations that the flyer is smaller than that of the banner. So more on customizing your own paper size. The moment you start typing a figure in the photoshop sizes that has been provided for you can you see that it automatically changes and then it changes to the costume presets for you so what you have to do for instance if you are creating something like a business card you have to make sure you know the right dimension that you are using i love using inches because it is almost <laughs> the simplest one so for instance if i am creating something like a business card I would have to go for a 3.5 or 3.5 by 2 inches and then if I click OK, I'm going to have my business. That is if I'm creating it in a landscape format. Alternatively, if I rotate this one, I'm going to have the portrait business card. So you can do this for books and other couple of stuff that you want to design that doesn't have a very specific design you can use tape measures rulers and any other measuring tool to take the measures of the thing that you want to design and then you can easily customize it in photoshop to fit the exact thing that you really want to design it for so to recap everything first of all get to know what you want to design get to know the size if you don't know the size please google is your friend consult google you're going to see a whole lot of sizes over there or the size of the thing that you want to design that'll be all for this video i hope you gained some value out of this if you did please smash on the like button and don't forget to subscribe you can also check out more of these kind of tutorials and other stuffs flyers business card and other stuffs that i've done in the playlist on my channel once again thank you so much for sticking around and watching till the end i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye